Hello Mercedes collectors. So uh, at the end of last year I put together like a wish list of models to come out this year. And one of those model cars I wanted was this car. You know the classic Mercedes uh, S-Classes. This is the second generation one. So it's the W126 chassis code. 560 SAL. Uh, nice little outline here. The brand is called Master. Putting this together right there. And then uh, I don't think it's a licensed product though. There's nothing saying Mercedes approval here. It's not a toy, 15 and up. So Wikipedia here is telling me that the second generation S-Class came out in 1979. And then in 1985 there was a facelift and then the production ended in 1991. Between the first series and second series, over around 900,000 of them were made, but the 560 SEL in particular, uh, 72,000 of those were made. Let's see, there's also a little line thing here. This 560 SEL means it came with the 5.5-liter uh, V8, making around 240-250 horsepower. So it wasn't a speed demon, I mean it's a big vehicle. So 0 to 60 was 7 to 8 seconds, and then uh, it was all about luxury, being an S-Class of course. Uh, the designer was Bruno Sacco, he designed a bunch of Mercedes, in particular the C111, which is a gullwing sports car, that thing's cool. Alright, of course it's kind of hard to uh, focus between a model and the photograph behind it, that's as good as I can get it. So I believe that Master they modeled a Series 2. Uh, Wikipedia tells me, you know, first of all, this whole generation is all about fuel efficiency, so better aerodynamics. Uh, so they smoothed out the bumpers compared to the first one. And then the Series 2 has these like aerodynamic wheels, which are almost flat compared to the Series 1, which are a little bit deeper and less aero. So that's what makes me think this is a Series 2. But correct me if I'm wrong. Bad. Hmm. Okay. So you'll have to decide for yourself. Um, this has a tiny star on it. I'm not going to take this off the base. This base does have a photo etched piece of metal here, brushed, and it's got the engraved, well, the etched master, and then the Benz 1W126, 164 scale. It would have been nice if it said Series 2 or Series 1, so I don't have to guess. There are two screws holding it together if you did want to take it off the base, but uh, as I say, I will not do so. This came out also in, I think, in a metallic gray, and possibly a black, I forget, but I chose blue. Just because almost all the other Mercedes in my collections are gray, silver, or black. So this works for me. It's a nice metallic blue for sure. It's like a medium blue. It's not very dark. It looks a lot lighter through my camera screen here. I'm not sure what will show up on your end. It's darker to my naked eye though. Alright, so the speckling in the paint is pretty nice. It doesn't look like a hot rod. So it looks good to me. I don't see any major imperfections yet. There is a really tiny one right here, but it's, it's passable. Okay. So there's some sunroof details here. Uh, this tan interior, or it's a, yeah, that is a tan interior. I don't know what this is. Does it have storage behind the headrests? I, they don't look like speaker grills to me. So please leave a comment if you know what those are. They look like they're hatches. Okay, you know what, let's just go out of order and do the interior now, because I'm seeing some cool stuff already. Alright, I'll need a flashlight. That's the beauty of a light colored interior. So naturally the steering wheel is black, but I don't see a logo in the middle, there's just a recess. But the center console is like a maroon color, I'm sure that's supposed to be like wood. All right, uh, the seats have some sort of, you know, ribs, and it looks like the seat is not smooth. It looks kind of like a 
grainy texture to the plastic. The dashboard, the instrument cluster that is, that I can't tell, so let me get the flashlight. No, I don't see anything. Hold on, I'm losing focus. Uh, but now it's focused on the reflection. I gotta be mindful of that star on the hood. I don't want if I touch that with my finger, that thing's gonna fall off. Yeah, so sadly the instrument binnacle, there's no gauges at all. Would have been nice if there's a decal or at least mold in some circles, you know. But the center center console, I guess? It looks like there's stereo buttons and stuff and like a rotary dial for the HVAC. Okay. So that little wood trim goes across to the passenger side. And then I think this, is there silver in the middle? Yeah, I guess there's still silver there. Maybe those are vents or something on the upper part. So it is nice to see that there's different colors, you know? The top of the dash is black, but then you have the wood, and then you have the lower light tan leather. So that's cool. Uh, the rear seats, not too much to talk about there. Some, some rib details. The door panels also have some of that reddish color carrying across in armrests and some ribs and stuff like that so not bad okay so not a bad interior master seems to do a decent job naturally just wish it had like uh, some instruments okay so the separate side mirror here seems to have a reflective sticker and it's a uh, yeah i guess just black plastic but it's painted there on the front side and if i look at the photos that looks realistic i don't know if that's like a piece of metal on the real mirror or if it's actually just silver paint on the rear real mirrors of the real car I don't know all right let's look at this front here so the star itself I think it looks pretty good let me get a different angle oh now there's a rear view mirror I didn't notice on that interior shot yeah so the rear view mirror okay but anyways back to the star it's photo etched piece of metal uh, the top of the circle though is kind of rough. That's probably where it was torn off the uh, etching sprue. And then the other side, you know, there's a, like a pin going into the piece of plastic of the grill. And then on this chromed plastic grill, there's another, that smaller Mercedes star. It seems to be offset a little bit though. It's pretty nice though. It actually seems to have dimensionality to it. It might be like a. I don't know if that's. It seems too thin to be a piece of metal, but I could be wrong. Maybe that is photo etched and stuck on. The grills do have a texture. I do question if there's enough black paint in them. I almost feel like I'm seeing a lot of silver texture where it should all be black. All right. Well, anyways, it's no big, big deal. I like the headlights. Yeah, they have, uh, you know, recesses and then a little light bulb dimple in, in them. So there's actually quite a bit of dimensionality going behind this this clear lens. Like it's 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 a deep white bucket times two. And then the the clear plastic has like some black molding going around printed on. And then the side amber turn signal actually has these three ribs you can hear. So it looks really good. And then it has uh these wiper blades for the headlight assembly. And honestly, I can't tell what they are. I'm just looking at this through my phone screen. Because I've... Yeah, what are they? I don't know if there's... I don't know if they're separate pieces or not. I might lose focus. I'm going to look at it with my own eyes. I still can't tell. They're so small. No, I have no clue. But it kind of looks like there are wipers, right? I think they, if anything, they might be plastic pieces. They do seem to be, here's the surface, right? And so I touch it, so it is sticking out. So I think they must be separate plastic pieces. So that's really cool. It's nice that there's something on the license plate. It looks like a realistic license plate. I wonder if it belongs to someone, if this is a famous car or not. Please leave a comment if you know. Some ribbing detail here. I don't know if there's a metal or what. It has the pitch of metal. I don't know 
know if this bumper is a separate piece or not. I feel like it's separate because I feel like this blue there's a recess and for the bumper like it's a separate piece. The bumper has these little raised areas. I think that's for like the fluid to, you know, spray the uh, wiper assembly there. And then there seems to be a little recess here, but I can't tell if there's like a chrome trim in there or not. Ah, I lost focus. I think it's just a groove. Okay. So looking at this front wheel and tire, the tire is nice. It's bulging out like an old school tire, like a balloon. And then we have the lug nut details and the little dots around them. So that's realistic. And then these recesses here. I don't think there's air passing through. Or is there? Let me get the flashlight again and see if light comes through the other wheel. No, I think that's like a just a silver ring of the other wheel. Yeah, so I think it's just a blanked off wheel with maybe some black paint back there. But it looks pretty good. I don't know if the front end is too low. It looks like the, the tire is actually sunken, like it's lowered. The rear actually looks more realistic, I think. Hmm. I wonder if like I loosen this screw it'll help out. I don't know. Hold on. It's not pretty tight. Maybe I'll mess with that later. Okay, so the two-tone here carries across pretty well. There's even these little bumps down here. I don't know if those are like covers for jacking up points or what. The color is managing to get inside those door panel gaps pretty nice. And then the uh, door handles, they're raised, painted silver. The window has silver printed on it for the chrome trim. And I guess this is black in between the two. Uh, there's also silver up here, probably on the casting itself. Yeah, okay. I think that's realistic to the real photographs I'm looking at. There's a piece of chrome trim on the car, and then the window moldings are chromed. So that looks good. Alright, let's go to the back. The star again. I don't know what these things are, if they're decals or what, but I can feel the dimensionality of the star. It's not a smooth decal, but it's a... It's too... Th I don't know what these are. It's... Do they make three-dimensional decals? I don't know. Anyway, same with the... this text. You know, it's actually raised, like raised letters. You can see a little bit of the glue or whatever holding it on. There's also this chrome work here, but it looks like it's just silver paint. It's definitely less shiny than these two things. The tail lights are nice. Uh, they have the ribbing, but they have good color separation of the red, the backup, the red, and then the orange amber again. And there's a little bit of black going around the outside for some sort of molding. So very good. I'm trying to see now if I can look through it. I don't see any sort of light bulbs behind it, but I don't see them on the rear, rear photograph either. And then that license plate again carries across. We have two tiny, tiny exhaust tips there, so it's, I don't expect those to be hollow. They're really, really small. Okay, so this little groove here is carrying across to this rear bumper. And again, I have a suspicion the rear bumper might be a separate piece, because the brake, it looks like there's literally a recess there, like air. It's really tiny, you know, but it looks good. Yeah, I'm sure that's a separate piece, this bumper. There's a little bit of a weird blemish or something right here. It looks dull. I wonder if that's like vapor from some sort of crazy glue in there. Uh, there actually is a silver muffler. And it looks like the spare wheel recess in the trunk. It actually looks like there's a lot of detail there underneath if that stuff interests you. Let me get the flashlight. Yeah, the tire treads look pretty nice as well. And it, as you see from the side, they don't look like truck tires. You can barely see treads at all, which is the way street tires look in real life. In real life, it's like you can't even see the treads at all, right, on a street tire. 
only on truck tires you might see knobbies. Okay, so yeah, at the bottom excites you. It seems like there's a decent enough detail there, like the exhaust is actually painted silver. Okay, the wiper blades, what's going on in the front here? I don't know if those are separate pieces. I'm afraid to touch them. If they are separate, they're glued on, and uh, I'll knock them off. I think they might be. Or possibly, maybe they are molded into the windshield. But they have really nice like dimples and stuff. And part of the aerodynamics development of this second generation S-Class was to hide these wipers behind the, the hood, you know, for better aero. Two little dimples there, probably for fluid. All right, I think that's everything. Pretty good, very good. I don't have a great many master models, but I have a few, and they, they seem to be a decent enough company. So, what to show off here? Uh, well, I guess we'll just start with a couple of other Mercedes. So here's an old Shuko. It's a W110 from 65 to 68. So I think that's like the equivalent of the E-Class. It wasn't the full-size car. And then I have this GCD limo, Pullman limo. So that would have been an S-Class equivalent, but as a limousine, of course. And then the last four-door Benz I have is by uh, Para 64. It's this AMG GT63S. Thank thankfully, Para 64 tells you what the car is on the bottom of it. So let's get this out. Look how big modern cars have become. This isn't the biggest coupe, I think, for Mercedes, is it? I don't know, GT63, if this is based off an E-Class or an S-Class. Maybe it is an S-Class. But anyways, it's big. It's, it seems to be bigger than that thing entirely. I am going to throw another model up here. It's kind of an old school luxury car, Toyota Sentry. This is from TLV. And this would have been a car sold between 1997 to 2017. The second generation Sentry. So I believe if you were living in Japan, you could have been cross shopping these. If you were living in England, maybe you bought a Johnny Lightning. Well, <laughs> you still could have bought a Johnny Lightning, maybe. But this is the Lagonda, I can't, that text is so small. I think it's just called a Lagonda. This one was sold between 1983 to 1990. And I think it actually measured out to be 164 scale. solar panel just catch the uh, photo booth lights all right well there's nothing majorly wrong with this there are no major QC problems it's really just if you're really nitpicky you kind of expect to see something in the instrument pinnacle for this price I mean if this was made by NO64 there would definitely be gauges in there and uh, even like, I'm pretty sure Hobby Japan would also have gauges in there. I mean, Tarmac Works Hobby would have gauges in there. And that's where this thing is pricing in at. So, but in the overall list of important things, for me, a bunch of speedometer and tachometers is less important 
I'd rather have the color in the center console and on the doors because that's more visible. And then obviously the outside appearance is even more important than the inside appearance for me. I'm just really thankful that the interior is a light color so we could look at it without a flashlight. Okay, so this one's a win for me. Uh, I'm rather happy with it. Um, I know Master has a full-size uh, uh, Hummer H1. I've been debating getting one of those. They actually have a military version. They have various uh, offerings of it. And they fit inside the same platform. So that, you know, I can collect it because it's a standardized case. So stay tuned for that. But uh, if you guys have any models that you'd like to see, you know, maybe leave it in a comment in this video or any other video. I suppose in December I'll put another wish list together and it's just nice to see you know what kind of cars people want to collect and see other companies make because uh, it's just something to talk about right it's a hobby okay thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next Mercedes video bye